When a man sees his end, he wants to know there was some purpose to his life. How will the world speak my name in years to come? Will I be known as the philosopher, the warrior, the tyrant? I'm David Damrosch. In this course, we'll be exploring some of the masterpieces of Western philosophy and literature from ancient times to the present, starting in very ancient times. We'll begin with some of the world's earliest writings, ancient Near Eastern texts that explore the conundrums of wisdom and power. Philosophers and politicians alike struggle to set the terms for a good life in a world of conflict. Rulers seek guidance from their counselors, and philosophers have often dreamed of wielding real-world influence. This course will examine particularly close moments of the relation between the love of wisdom and the pursuit of power. We'll look at particularly fraught examples of relationships between religious and wise figures and autocratic rulers, from the trials of Socrates to Jesus to Sir Thomas More. And we'll examine the opposite dream of the philosopher king, from Plato's Republic to the real-life philosopher king Marcus Aurelius to the philosopher queen Elizabeth I. Throughout the course, we'll look at the long history of ethical issues that are still with us today. Manipulations of fact in the interests of party politics, savaging the opponents, inability to hear the other side. And these are issues that affect us in our personal lives as well. Throughout this course, we'll see philosophers, wisdom counselors, religious figures trying to intervene, trying to sort of strike a balance between self-expression, self-restraint, self-interest, and the public good. We'll be reading philosophers who dramatize these issues through lively dialogue and the creation of imaginary worlds. And we'll look also at literary reflections of ethical concerns, from the poetry of Solon of Athens to a satiric comedy by Machiavelli to the poems and speeches of Queen Elizabeth to Shakespeare's great play Hamlet, story of a philosophy student who has to come home to confront his father's murder and his mother's incestuous remarriage. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in our philosophy. The course ends with the case of Adolf Hitler, a deeply sick man who thought of himself as a philosopher king. And we'll look at a range of responses to the rise of fascism, from the fascist philosopher Martin Heidegger uh, to the pacifist Virginia Woolf, and the great German-Jewish philosopher Hannah Arendt, Heidegger's beloved student, who has to come to term with her former lover's seductions by the attractions of power. Across 4,000 years of cultural history, we'll explore ethical issues that are still very much with us today, from the downfall of real-life tyrants the pressures of mass culture and public opinion in liberal democracies today, as these issues are explored deeply by some of the world's greatest thinkers. <laughs>